Speaking of sluts, have you been following the Jeff Gannon story? I don't know if you know. It's only becoming a big story now. I've been following it all week. Jeff Gannon, who's, that's not his real name. He is a <clears throat> White House correspondent who has been lobbing softball questions at the president and his press secretary. Uh, turns out he is actually a paid escort for wealthy homosexuals. <laughs> I'm not kidding about that. He actually had two jobs. One obviously was sleazy and shameful, and the other was a gay male prostitute. <laughs> I think I know what Bush meant now when he said he had a mandate. Uh, um, <laughs> now, now listen to this. This is where it gets a little scary. The president said today that the United States will, does not intend to attack Iran. But then he said, quote, but you never want a president to say never. And he said, if his position does change, he will make that information public in the time-honored, appropriate manner by leaking it to a gay prostitute. <laughs> My God, the White House has ties to gay prostitution. Um, I, don't, and, uh, I, I, don't, I do not understand, having covered the White House for as long as I did, how he got, I, I just don't get it, how he got a press pass yes. on, a, on a false name, on an I, alias. I, 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 I don't I, know how that happened. You have to, you have to be cleared through well, the Secret Service in order to get a press pass, which you have to wear at all times. I mean, there's something behind this story that hasn't come out, and, clearly. Okay, well... Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm going to suggest what that is. Because not only did he have a press pass, but apparently he got scoops yeah. that other reporters didn't get. He got the one before anybody else had it on your boy Dan Rather when he got in trouble with the, uh, the Swift Boat reporting. He got the story on the uh, attack of Baghdad when we started the war in March of 2003, four hours before anybody else got it. Now, I don't want to start rumors here, but isn't it <laughs> sort of obvious that he had a boyfriend in the White House? <laughs> Somebody at the highest level was spilling the beans while he was spilling how, the beans. How did, how, how did he get a Secret Service press pass? How did that happen? Okay, someone leaked stories, and of course we won't have an investigation of that, will we? But how did he get a Secret Service press pass I, with an alias? I, I mean, I, I think... I, I mean, really, I cannot figure it out. Well, what do you think of my suggestion? I mean, well, I, I'm saying one. once he got into the White House, fine, someone was leaking him stories. But let's, I'm asking how he gets through the FBI clearance and the Secret Service. How does that happen? Well, I think there was a mole in the White House, or maybe a gerbil would be a mole. <laughs> All right, I, I apologize for that. Leslie Stahl, I thank you for joining us. Gannon thing, because Lord knows. But uh, don't go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I get no joy out of saying the White House has ties to gay prostitution. <laughs> All right, I what guess, I, I, guess I get a little joy out yeah, of just it. Like but let me ask, fellas, seriously, you... Carl, are you awake? <laughs> Carl, open the door! Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? I mean... Now, we have two Washington insiders from either party. Insider's not a word you use right now. <laughs> I want to just ask this question. If this was the Clinton White House and this story broke, tell me a angry mob with torches would not be involved. Why do the Republicans get a pass on this stuff when you know this is impeachable with the other party? The press. The press. <laughs> Meaning? I guess, uh, as, as the Democrat here, and I, you can totally dissociate, we're friends, but for the purposes of this show, you can pretend I hate him, but I really like him. Uh, yeah, the, uh, okay. Well, los amigos, los amigos, ahí dos. dos. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom line is that why isn't every major network in the country investigating a security breach? Forget anything else. Right. How could the FBI 
For 17 years, I was chairman of the Judiciary Committee, the ranking member. I read more FBI reports than ever wanted to know. How could that happen and no one have any idea who this guy was? Forget any, for the, everything else. Assume he went in there and he was a saint. How could that be? We should know that. There should be. The Judiciary Committee of the United States Senate should mm -hmm. be investigating it. The House Judiciary Committee should be investigating it. And if it were the other party in charge, it would be investigated. Sounds like you've got your work cut out for you when you get back to Washington. But by the way, <laughs> but by the way, one of the problems with one of the problems with there being not a single fora available is that you can't call a hearing. I can't I'm in the judiciary. I can't go back and call a hearing. Only the chairman of the committee can call a hearing. Right. So all right. All right, moving what on. What's his nickname? Did he have a Bulldog. Name? Bulldog. I'm not Wow, I've never heard that one in the gay community. <laughs> What are you into? <laughs> well, uh, and I'm well, not. It wasn't gung ho or something. No, but I'm not. But he had websites under the names. So they did a background check. Look under primalrear.com. <laughs> yeah, you, you can almost not. Yeah, it's like get a joke on this. Yeah, but Hot military stud dot com. One of them. Need semen? Call five eight eight one one. Military escorts. M for M. M for M. I don't know what that means. Do you? No. Rear guard action. Okay, great. Conservativeguy.com. I Whoa. Mean, I mean, th th this is. We're not making this Uptight, up. Uptight, better late than never. Call now. <laughs> <laughs> Too late.